How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys uh, a proper step-by-step -step guide for how you can use a ship station with Wix. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So in today's guide, I'll be showing you guys how to uh, seamlessly integrate sh uh, ship station with your Wix store. So as we all know, ShipStation is a powerful shipping solution tool. And when it comes um, to things like e-commerce, it is definitely a top contender. Now when, you combine, uh, now when you combine it with something like Wix, it can streamline your order fulfillment process in just mere moments. So like I said, I'll be walking you guys through the, uh, the proper setup for this. So you're able to use uh, ShipStation with Wix and we'll be going over some of the key features of um, both platforms and how you actually get to uh, use this. So now, the first thing that you guys need to do is you need to create a ShipStation account. And if you don't already have one, um, you wanna head over to ShipStation.com and sign up. So to give you guys a, a quick overview on what the signup process looks like, let's actually go there. So it looks uh, it looks a little something like this. And as you can see here, um, right off the bat on their homepage, there are a couple of um, uh, platforms, companies, and subsidiaries using um, ShipStation. So there's PayPal, there's um, uh, Shopify, UPS, Amazon, Walmart, FedEx, and whatnot. So this to me um, is a testimony to show just how good um, ShipStation, uh, ShipStation is. And here's the page where you guys actually get to sign up. And we click on login. And then from here, you want to click on this button right here. Try ShipStation now. Now this will actually uh, redirect you to a page where you're able to uh, sign up for an account. So basically just fill out the details, your first name, last name, email, country and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. And um, there should be some on-screen instructions on what you guys need to do to sign up for an account. So that out of the way, let's move on to the next steps. So step two is to connect your uh, Wix store to ShipStation. So to actually do it on the ShipStation website, you want to click on settings. And that's normally found on the top right uh, corner of the screen on your dashboard. And you want to click on uh, selling channels. So once you've selected uh, selling channels, you want to click on connect to a store or a marketplace. And obviously from there, um, you'll have a list uh, to choose from. So you want to uh, select Wix. And when you do, um, when you, once you've selected Wix, it'll bring up a new window where you'll get to log into your Wix account. And assuming you already have that going, um, basically just log in and authorize ShipStation to access your store data. And that will be it. Now moving on. We're going to be importing our Wix orders uh, to ShipStation. So what you need to do is after connecting to Wix, you want to go to the orders tab in ShipStation. And once you're there, you want to select import to bring in your Wix orders. So what will happen here is because we've set up the automation, uh, what will happen is ShipStation will automatically sync your orders, customers, and products. Now, once all of that's set up, you're ready to uh, configure it even more and set up the shipping preferences. <clears throat> so the next thing is to import your Wix orders to get ready for um, editing the shipping preferences. So um, what you want to do again is you want to navigate to the settings uh, like before, and you want to click on uh, shipping. Now here you'll get to configure the shipping preferences, carrier options, and uh, shipping presets to match your uh, store's uh, shipping requirements. And once you guys have that going, we're ready to work on the automation rules. So as for the automation rules, uh, what you want to do is uh, head to the automation uh, option in under settings. So this can save you a lot of time. Uh, when you're using uh, Wix and ShipStation to operate your store. So um, uh, once you guys are there on automation, uh, there should be a button that says uh, create rule. And here is where you will actually get to create rules for order processing. So these pertain to assigning shipping carriers based on order, weight, or destination. So basically stuff like that. Now, moving on, we're going to um, generate shipping labels. 
And to access um, this tab, what you need to do is click on the orders tab and select the, the orders that you want to process. So once you've made your selections, it'll be like a little checkbox on the side. So for each order, you get just basically a ticket, check, uh, and you would have the option on the right side to create a label. Now, uh, when you've created the uh, label, or rather, um, once you've chosen your preferred shipping carrier and service, uh, click on Create Label, and then uh, uh, give it the name or whatever. Uh, basically, what we're doing is we're adding a new parameter to uh, those selected orders. So once that's um, once you're done with that, you're going to review the shipping details and uh, click on Create and Print Label. So uh, once that's done and we're past all of that, we're ready to notify our customers and update Wix orders. And to do so, step one, you're going to need to um, uh, automate the function and set up email notifications with tracking information. So uh, we're going to use ShipStation to do this. So we're going to um, add a function. And to do so, you want to go back to the, uh, to the dashboard click on settings, go to notifications. And once you're there, there should be an option to um, automate not uh, customer notifications. So you could have it um, set up with their emails. So whenever um, a new development has, um, or rather when there's a new development with their order, um, they'd be notified via email. And yeah, that'd be good. So once, uh, once it's shipped, uh, ShipStation updates the order status in Wix automatically, providing customers with tracking details. Now, the last thing we'll be talking about is uh, monitor and optimize. So what you need to do uh, when you have Wix and ShipStation set up is you need to regularly check on your ShipStation dashboard for insights on order fulfillment and uh, shipping performance. So here you also get to adjust automation rules and shipping settings based on feedback and evolving business needs. So yeah, um, that's it. Congratulations. You've successfully integrated um, ShipStation with Wix. So this will streamline your order fulfillment process and provide a seamless experience for both you and the customers. So hope uh, obviously there's more um, to this, but I'm not gonna get too much into detail I just showed you guys the fundamentals of how you can set it up. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guides like these daily. So if you want to show your support to that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all of that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.